You know what happens when you give too much freedom to a streamer? You tell them to do whatever the hell they want. You tell them the sky is a limit. Be you. Be you, boo. Kick happens. Every morning when the staff gather up at kick headquarters, after they're done with their meeting, they all put their hands on top of each other. They all go degenerate on three. One, two, three, degenerate. And Twitch has its gamer awards every year. YouTube has its event every year where they invite all the big YouTubers in the region. You know what Kick has? Kick has the degenerate award. Basically, throughout the year, whoever is the most degenerate, disrespectful piece of shit, they get an award and they get like a $10 million bonus on top of it as well. And on this year's awards, it is 100% going to go to two streamers, this iconic degenerate duo, Heel Mike and Zerka. They secured their spot from now on. There is no way anyone else can be more degenerate than these two fuckers. But there's only one problem to this. We don't know if they'll be able to make it to the awards, get that trophy, give a whole degenerate spe speech. I can't believe I've worked towards this my whole life. This has always been my dream. Through hard work, anything is possible. Throughout the whole year, I put so much hard work on being the most hated person on this planet. And finally, I made it. Mom, dad, whatever you are you, that you left me when I was a kid, I, I got it. I made it, mom. And how did Zerko and Hill Mike accomplish their long life dream? It was from the stream a few hours ago. Nigga, they on my stream. I don't give a fuck. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even Who gives a Losers, kill yourself. You f queer losers always. Wait, they yeah, wait. do it to kill us. No, it's strange. Oh, she fixed my dick. Mike, I'm just looking out for you. I don't. We don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. I love them. So get the f out of here. Back. I love them. So go leave. Now this is no ordinary. Oh, they need to be humble. Dear, these are some degenerate streamers. This is not like that. This is pure crime. To give you a little bit of context, Hill Mike and Zerka, the biggest losers in human history, decided to collab together, decided to take it all the way to Miami. This is Zerka posted two days ago in the same house that they filmed the current stream. This is a, probably an Airbnb uh, rented. And they went on the streets and they do what kick streamers do best. Embarrass themselves. I'm fighting for the number one spot to get that degenerate trophy from kick. They came across two females. Now, Zerka has a very big history when it comes to petite women. He just likes to grab them. He doesn't care how old they are. When Zerka dies on his tombstone, it is going to be every hole is a goal, Zerka. And after they came across these two females, they decided to hit them up, see what's up, see if they want to come back at their place and party. And usually teenage girls, they say yes. But this is the key point where their friend came along and said that these are minors. They are underage. And keep in mind, the age of consent in Miami is 18 years old. I know in some states it's 16, which I was shocked that I found out for the first time. But they are in Miami and it is 18 years old. Oh, okay. no, no, you too. Hey, my God. Here, put your number here because I'm a little lit. Now, I know you might think this is a sick joke that they came forward and they're like, oh, just my type. You think this is sarcasm, but I can guarantee you it is not. They went back to their place and this is some of the pictures from the clip that Zerka was on the couch with this girl. Keep this girl in mind because she takes a big role in it. Yeah? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. And obviously these two girls, it's very fucking obvious that they look underage. In this type of situation, you always ask for an ID. 
hey, do you have an ID? And they claim that they already showed their ID, which says they're born in 2005, and they claim they were 19 years old. Now, after the chat started trolling Hill Mike, Hill Mike went on stream and said, who cares that they're underage? Wait, let me, let me just play his exact words again. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even who gives a losers? I'm just looking out for you. I don't. We don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. He went on his Twitter and he posted this, which is now deleted. Keep in mind, he posted a picture with the girl in bed and said, "Zero regrets. Good night." Now, even if these girls were not underage, that's absolutely disgusting thing to do i don't care how old you are if you're filming you cuddling with the girl and like kissing her just like after bed and surprisingly a lot of people do this as well when they're about to get laid they sit they send a picture of themselves or if you're hs ticky talky you're gonna film yourself in action in his head he's gonna think he's so cool that he bags these girls oh my god the chat is gonna love this chat look at this product that i brought home but in everyone's eyes he looks like an absolute idiot posting that picture. There's nothing to be proud of from this picture. And what makes it worse, what makes it a fucking crime is that they are underage. How do I know this? Because it's out there now. A lot of accounts, a lot of places, they're saying, oh, it's alleged we don't know if they're underage or not. But there has been some tweets coming out, which they don't have a lot of pop popularity yet. But after I scrolled and researched about this, because... This is a fucking crime. I wanted to be sure before I made this video. And this is the things I found. The first few clips I showed you when they were picking her up. She said that her name is Yulia. This is her full name, Yulia Pagan. I'm not exposing anyone. Her name is already out there. Everyone knows this. And once you click on that picture, it shows that she will be a senior in 2025, which is next year. So that means she's in year 11 and this picture also was posted it doesn't have a lot of views on it because a lot of people don't know the person who posted this but this is her full name as well and this is what she said she said my life at my life she's been working basically some nonsense that she posted that 11th of august 2007 which means she will be 17 this year i tried to search it up myself to make sure this whole thing is not a photoshop and I found out that her Facebook page has been privated. All the pictures have been removed and there's nothing available to see on it as well. And in my opinion, there is no reason for anyone to Photoshop this. This is an absolute degenerate thing to do. And what people did at the beginning was before this whole thing went viral is they went and they screenshot at this. I honestly personally believe that this is real. So not only at the beginning of the video, her friend said that they're actually minors. He didn't care. Maybe he thought it was a joke. Later on, it came out that they had a fake ID. Hill Mike was aware of it. What did he say? I like them either way. Zerka had a little bit of freak out moment, but Hill Mike was absolutely fine with it. And from the picture that they posted, it seems like they've actually done something because there was a lot of alcohol involved there as well. We don't know if there was like drugs there as well most probably yes now these idiots had a little bit of brain cell working in their head and they they didn't stream the actual action but there's no proof of them doing anything sexually with them but i think the the thing that zirka did on the couch and the picture hill mike posted says it all this picture is going viral all over the place as well this is they're claiming this is the dad they both have the same name someone dm this and said is this your daughter? The person replied, yes, she is. They shared the photos and he's like, what the hell? Yes, she is 16. We don't know what happened next in the conversation. And a lot of people are saying, oh, this is probably fake. But after finding out her Facebook page, this is most probably real as well. We will not know. Maybe in a few hours, there's going to be more information coming through. And after these videos started going viral on all over Twitter, Kick decided to ban these guys now as we all know to kick bans are not to be believed it's always 24 hours to 48 hours and they're unbanned but this might be a special occasion where they will be permanently banned 
But I say that is not enough. I want to see Vitaly kicking down the door, coming in and just exposing the shit out of these guys as well. I want to see them in handcuffs and I want to see them being cuddled with other prisoners in prison. And that is most likely going to happen because it all started as jokes. Shit is too real now. Even the message with the dad, the dad should definitely, if he is a man, he is going to step up and he's going to press charges against these fuckers. And we've seen a lot of degenerate illegal stuff happening on cake, but this takes it to a whole new level. I've never seen anything more fucking disgusting than this. Now, neither Mike and Zerka have, have responded to this. They're probably panicking at home, calling their attorneys and having the perfect plan on to come out and fucking have an excuse for it, which this is just... I can't imagine an excuse they can come up with. They probably come be able like, oh yeah, they lied to us. We we didn't know they were underage, which the evidence is fucking out there no matter how many times you delete this shit. And this is not something that, you know, you leave it for a while, it's gonna die down. No, they're gonna get heat left and right in the few coming hours, in the coming days. And let's hope the justice system actually serves justice. We can see them in handcuffs. We can see them all over the news and we can see what kind of a fucking degenerate... Bro, like, it's, you have money, you have fame, why the fuck would you risk going out with someone underage, even if they claim, like, they even joke that they're 17 and they're actually, like, 20, dip, I have more respect for the island boys than these losers, literally, the island boys found out that, you know, they, they invited a girl over, they found out that she's 18, legal age but they still kicked her out because it, it, it's just it's just fucked up and these girls want to be on the camera they want to get the fame they don't care what happens to the guy it's not even worth it you're literally risking your whole freedom you're gonna lose everything after this and that is it it's too late now i swear to god if they get unbanned or they don't get arrested first of all i'm going to I don't know. I don't know, man. Kick literally needs to be sued for millions and they need to they need to close that shit up. The government, instead of focusing on banning TikTok, they need to ban the shit out of kick. At least there's not much illegal stuff happening on TikTok. They're very strict with it. Kick just lets you do all sorts of illegal shit. Wait, I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you the next one.